Wouldn't it be great if we all knew how to have better sex? Sex and finance are topics which we all think we know well. Unfortunately, so many of us have been led astray by bad information and societal disinformation. In this video, I'm very excited to discuss this new book that is dropping today on Amazon called You Are Not Broken by Dr. Kelly Kasperson. She's a friend, she's a urologist practicing out on the West Coast, Northwest in Washington. She wrote this amazing, amazing book. Now you can, if you want to learn about all this stuff by reading a bunch of books and Kelly brings, Dr. Kasperson brings her personal experience taking care of patients with sexual issues, desire issues, with up-to-date medical information in a very easy to understand, easy to read book called You Are Not Broken. Now, for those of you who may have questions, who may feel a little uncomfortable asking them in the comments, please feel free to DM me. And if you are interested in a live question and answer, <laughs> I haven't asked Dr. Kasperson yet, but if you're interested in a live Q&A with Dr. Kasperson, I'd be happy to try to invite her and maybe we have a we can have a Q&A and discussion regarding sex, desire, and everything related to that. So in this book, there's so much to unpack. She busts a lot of myths regarding sex, desire, and orgasms. And I'll, I'll just jump forward to page 76 in this book and read a, a paragraph. Thinking porn is reality translates into men trying to please women by being total jackhammers in bed. Stick it in fast and go, go, go. The whole time, women are thinking, why doesn't this do anything for me? Add in a fake orgasm and the whole thing amounts to a total performance disaster for everyone. A fake charade masquerading as sex. Performance-based sex is killing people's sex lives and it is unfortunately becoming more and more common. And I completely agree. And also, if you got, if you received your sexual education from elementary school, junior high school, high school, that is more pregnancy and disease prevention. And it's more of a scare tactic. And I will bet you none of you learn about the clitoris. Where is it located? What is its function? It's not and spoiler alert, it is not just that little nub that you can see, okay? This book covers it all. And I will tell you, if you think your doctors know about sex, <laughs> bad news. We did not receive the type of education that we should with sexual function, sexual activity, orgasms, desire, so there's, there's, a, there's a lot of inequality and one of them being orgasms. So there's something called orgasmic inequality for us men or penile bearing individuals, penis bearing individuals. We think that sex and an or an orgasm, or you, you need to have the penis and the vagina to have sex when nothing could be further from the truth. I mean, that's a very, very male centric view of things. And in the past, committees and organizations have been formed mostly comprising of men. Unfortunately, men don't really have a good understanding. Heck, women don't have a good understanding of orgasms. But imagine if you put in a group of men, try to figure out how women work and orgasms, you end up with inequality in numerous aspects, including orgasms. So here's, here's a fact. For those of you who are 
who are misinformed like I was when I was in going through school. Heck, actually, I went through, I went to school in elementary school in Taiwan, so there was no sex education. And I, when I came to the states, it was more like the sex education that you all got. Probably one lecture about sexually transmitted infections and contraception and pregnancy, and that's about it. There's nothing about orgasms, nothing about great sex, which this book covers and more. So definitely pick it up if you if you want to save time. If you're if you're kind of an efficiency type of a person and you want to just get the information in a short, concise manner, this is it right here. So orgasmic inequality. Back to that. Believe it or not, men can achieve orgasms probably in like five, ten minutes. Women, on average, take much, much longer, two, three times longer. So there's definitely that orgasmic inequality. In addition, penis and vagina sex helps women reach orgasms in approximately 30% of the time. What? Mind blown, right? You would think in the movies, it's jump into bed and simultaneous mind-blowing orgasms within seconds. Unfortunately, that's another falsehood. That is just another bit of misinformation and disinformation out there from Hollywood, from society. That that is no that is the norm. When there's so much more that goes into it, and no one is educated on this. Type of stuff when it comes to anatomy, physiology, how to get there, what is the actual norm instead of what you learn from exposure to the media. Well, there's a lot of fake news out there. I hate to break it to you. There's a lot of biases out there. You want to consider getting the right information. Sex, orgasms, pleasurable sexual activity with your partner. Orgasms require. Multiple facets, and Dr. Casperson discusses the biopsychosocial aspects of better sex, orgasms, desire. Talking about the difference between responsive re desire versus reactive desire. So there's a there's a difference between the two, and just having more of one versus the other is perfectly fine. And I will another spoiler alert: most women. Will respond to reactive desire. They 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 go through reactive desire more than just spontaneous desire. So, a lot of differences between men and women, and we are just starting to understand women. And it's it's so sad. So, Dr. Casper doesn't covers not just the, the the sex for the the young younger woman, but also Postmenopausal sy symptoms and genital urinary syndrome of menopause. Believe it or not, there's really no national society guideline on genital urinary syndrome of menopause, which not just involves the vagina; it actually involves the bladder. Something that I deal with pretty much on a daily basis. Whenever a woman comes in with some of these voiding or urination symptoms, like frequency, recurrent UTIs, urgency of urination, believe it or not. That is not strictly a here's a medication from your bladder syndrome. It's it could be hormonal issues. So that is also covered in this book. There's what if, what if you have a desire mismatch, meaning your partner wants more sex and you are not so much, you don't have that much of a, a desire. What if you have that mismatch? How do you manage that? What about if you just have a low desire? Hypoactive sexual desire disorder. Believe it or not, that's a real thing, right? Dr. Casperson also talks about lubrication, not just the actual lube that you use, but also other types of lube that are not physical lube. All right, so good stuff. You definitely want to read the book to learn more about it. She covers the female Viagra. Believe it or not, there is a medication called Addy Vibranserin, which is has been coined the little pink pill. Also known as the female Viagra. Yeah, finally, right? Something for women instead of just everything for men. 
So there is a female Viagra available, and there, unfortunately, there aren't too many. There aren't too many female sex experts out there, and Dr. Casperson is one whom I definitely recommend, and also Dr. Rachel Rubin out in uh, Washington D.C. She's another. Uh, these these there are very few people, very few men and women who specialize in female sexual disorder and female sexual function. And there's only one fellowship program in the United States that trains physicians on this particular topic. So there's a lot of misinformation out there. If you want to learn more, definitely consider picking up this book. It is a fast read, easy read, great read. Definitely check it out. And if you don't, if you want to learn more beyond just what's covered in this book, you definitely want to listen to her podcast, also called "You Are Not Broken," and the subtitle here says, "Stop shitting all over your sex life for women." So there are a lot of there are a lot of responsibilities that are an undue pressure placed on women regarding sex, and you should stop shitting all over your sex life. As Dr. Casperson stated in the title, subtitle of this book, and、uh, if you want to read the back of, if you want me to read the back of it, I'll, I'll just read it to you real quick. The back of the、uh, the cover here is your sex life amazing? Probably not. If you're like most women, in fact, amazing isn't even close to how you ever experience sex, but. It isn't your fault. You can thank Hollywood's portrayal and society's silence for your crappy sex life. Rarely do we learn what truly makes great sex for women, why understanding anatomy matters, or how our pleasure is not just important but vital. So you can tell that there's a there's a, a strong female centric bend in the, in this book. But I will tell you, as a man, read it so you understand how to be a better lover for your counterpart. In "You Are Not Broken," Dr. Kelly Casperson offers a unique perspective as a urologist, coach, and fellow woman, wondering, when it comes to sex, is this all there is? Dr. Kelly explores how to adjust your mindset. And provides an in-depth look at what makes women physiologically unique, and as you know, they are unique. Better sex creates a better relationship between you and your partner, with real-life stories, ideas for journaling, and tips to get the conversation going. This book is the sex empowerment secret weapon you really need to live the life you've always wanted. So I will end with a mind shift for you to consider. You may think having better desire for sex leads to great sex and more romance, when in fact that thinking is actually backwards. This is according to I believe a 2011 study. The conclusion is higher sexual satisfaction and feelings of romantic love toward. One's partner is the biggest predictor of sexual desire. So literally, a lot of us have it backwards. <laughs> so having better sexual satisfaction and feelings of romantic love towards your partner is the biggest predictor of sexual desire. Not having desire leads to great sex, leads to romance. It's kind of like the opposite. So poof, again, right? Mind blown. You're like, what? <laughs> Speak to me, right? Tell me the truth. Tell me the real truth. Stop listening to the disinformation and misinformation out there, and listen to Dr. Casperson regarding how to improve your sex life. Go pick up this book. You are not broken. Great read, short read, packed full of useful information, and I look forward to interacting with everyone soon. Take care. Bye bye.